Hey, hey guys, so I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things I have been picking up for the new homeschool year. I have some curriculum, some school supplies, some organization items for all of this stuff, and I'm just so excited to share it all with you guys. I have been attempting to go more minimalist and basically every area of my life, but one of the key areas that I've been focusing on is our homeschool. I felt like I needed everything to be a good homeschool mom. I needed all of the curriculum, all of the manipulatives, all of the things, all of the stuff, and I have felt that I've just been drowning in it and that the freedom that I wanted in homeschooling was kind of being taken away by my own doing because I had so much stuff. When instead, I want a curriculum that is going to be life-giving and that is going to help me teach my kids, but I don't want so much stuff that it takes away from getting outside more, which is something I really want to do with my kids, or just other activities and things that we want to do as a family, and just kind of steals that freedom that homeschooling is supposed to get. So... I'm very excited. I did want to say too, one little like disclaimer or just like thought that I have on these homeschool hauls in general or just hauls in general on YouTube is that typically what you'll see in a title is like huge homeschool haul. You know what I mean? Like ginormous, big, you know, huge and you see all the stuff in the thumbnail and you know, that gets clicks, that gets views. Um, and there's a reason for that, and I think that it can be of a value, like that mom, say it's a huge homeschool haul, that mom that is sharing that, which I have done that in the past as well, um, they're sharing with you tons of different items, and maybe you'll only pick like one or two that you think will suit you and your family, and that gives you value, getting to see all those items and getting to see her perspective on it. So that's valuable. But then the negative side of it is that it can make you feel like you need more than you really do. Even if that mom is saying, listen, you don't need all of this stuff. Don't worry about that. But it's just, it's the like message that's being sent to your brain that's saying, I need this stuff to be a good homeschool mom. And that can actually have very damaging effects on you, much worse than you know, much more impactful than the value of just a couple of items that you saw in that haul. So my hope with this video and my videos going forward is that I can more so just encourage you guys. You know, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I have gotten and maybe you'll get some information some inspiration from that of things you would like to get for your homeschool but I also want to share this message of simplifying and not needing all of the things all of the manipulatives all of the curriculum you know I love watching curriculum videos and flip throughs and reviews and all that stuff I just love that because I'm so passionate about homeschooling, but it gets to a point where you just need to find something that works for you, stay consistent with it, and stick to your values. It's not about the stuff. It's not about the curriculum even. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is your value system as a family and really just grounding yourself and remembering that. So I'm hoping in this haul of things, I'm trying to keep it very simple this year. Oh, my husband's calling me. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it very simple this year and um, in hopes that we can just live a full life. We can learn what we need to learn and read good books and have a good curriculum, but then also go out there and live life. Okay, I think I might just like quickly show you guys some curriculum and then get into like all the organization and stuff because that's a lot like the school supplies and organization is a lot of what I'm wanting to share but I just got some of our good and the beautiful curriculum and I'm so excited so I just thought I would show you guys so we got level one of the good and the beautiful which I will do a whole like first grade curriculum picks video where I talk about everything he's doing but we got this in and I'm so excited I love the good and the beautiful language arts I just think they do a fantastic job of really teaching all the things that your child needs to learn Henry learned to read mostly through that I mean we have been working on preschool stuff but um, he fully learned to read in kindergarten with their kindergarten curriculum so very excited about that and then I also got the good and the beautiful math one in the mail. 
Honestly, this feels easy for him. Like the kindergarten one was easy as well. So I got another curriculum coming that I'm gonna pair with this. But I love the games and how pretty it is and just how fun it is and so does Henry. So we are gonna stick with this, but we're gonna add something extra and then we'll see. Because I was, at one point guys, I was gonna do like three math curriculums. If you watch like my brainstorming for the curriculum, it's like 2020, three 2024 homeschool curriculum picks like brainstorming I don't know what I titled it but anyway I had like at least three curriculum that I was thinking about for him um so I narrowed it down to two and I love math we're a math family so I told myself even though I'm trying to go minimal I told myself that I could do two math curriculums because one this might be too easy and the other one I've used before I know I like it so it's not like a wild card and I think it's, it's gonna be good too. So I'll share more about that in his curriculum picks, but very excited for that. And then the language arts level one comes with the Booster B, um, reading Booster B books and the cards. I love this. I love how like organized it is and simple. So that is something that if you're going with a minimalist homeschool vibe, <laughs> if that's what you're going for in your homeschool, I feel like the good and the beautiful really suits that, like it fits that because it is kind of more minimal and they have things like the way they've updated everything. Like I, back in the day, used the good and the beautiful with Carter. That's the first time I used it was with Carter. He's like going into ninth grade. I used it when he was in like fourth grade or something. And they had these cards that were like individual and you had to put them in baggies and it just felt like a mess. So this, I love how it's just all in this book. It keeps it really clean and organized and simple. And then the little books that go along with it. So I love that. Like this, talk about like a minimalist. That's all you would need for English for first grade. Now I got him a bunch of books, so I'll show you guys that because books are something that I will not go minimal on, but I love that. Um, although I did get myself a Kindle, I talked about this in my latest cleaning video on my cleaning channel, but I did get myself a Kindle and so I'm trying to like, if it's just a book that I know I'm only going to read once and won't want to read in the future or reuse, like these books that I'm about to show you from The Good and the Beautiful, I know I will use for my now four year old once he reaches this level and then my now one year old once she reaches this level. So like we will use these for three kids, we will get our use out of them, I will store them properly and so I feel like it's worth it. But like if it's just a fun read for me um, that I'm not going to read again, I'd rather, or that's just not that important to me, I'd rather just put it on my Kindle. So I'm trying to become more minimal, less cluttered. Um, but so, oh, okay. So I got a bunch of books for him to read along with his curriculum that I love. Something I love about The Good and the Beautiful is that they have a bunch of books that like fit their level and so it's so easy to find it can be very confusing like I've tried to go to the library and just like find books that are his level you know those like ready to read books like level one whatever like none of them really fit him and his level exactly but since the good and the beautiful it's their curriculum they know exactly what level your child should be on if they're on this certain you know level of curriculum so love that so I'll show you guys that but I also got um, of course the with the math Another more minimal thing that I love about The Good and the Beautiful is it just comes with a simple box. Now I know I never used their math like that was had like I think it had a lot of manipulatives and it was too much people didn't like it so I never used that but this it comes with a little whiteboard which my kids love whiteboards so I love that this is so like easy to store and minimal little whiteboard. Unfortunately our clock broke like when we when I opened it it was broken so I don't know if I can fix it if not I think I'm gonna reach out to them and ask them to send me a new one so that was frustrating to me because I was very excited opening this but it's just such a simple little box that's already perfectly organized with all of the items that you will need all of the manipulatives and so I just love that they already have it organized I don't have to go purchase them I don't have to organize them myself like I don't have to use that mental like we make so many decisions as moms and I don't have to use all of that the thought and time it's just this little box that's perfectly organized and put together and ready to go so I love that about the good and the beautiful as well and I love the little whiteboard they have too Okay, so then as far as books, I got one game, which I already got Ant Eater Edition and some 
traction like those games that they had and so then I also saw this it's Luke and Lily of the Lighthouse which there's like a book set that I got with that um, but this is just the game it's compound words and so it's just has different words on it and then you like combine it like I was showing Henry because he didn't really even know what compound words are yet but like tooth brush and so you combine those you know toothbrush so I think that's cool I haven't really read the rules yet but we love games we're a big game family and so that's something too that I like about the good and beautiful is that they have fun little games for younger kids um, so that they can just you know learn through having fun we are big like board games type family and everything so great my battery's dying I feel like my hair was not cut right like so anyway sorry about that guys okay so my battery died but I am back all right so the books just really quickly I got this set because it was like on sale um, and this looks really cute. Look at the beautiful, they just do such a good job with like how pretty everything is. Um, so this one is, oops, which I can go on and on about books and I think I did that too much in my sunlight videos and people didn't like that so I'll try to go quicker but these are called Gold Tales and this is Jane and the King. What can you give a king who already has all the money, all that money can buy? Perhaps something he does not yet know to treasure. Jane and the King, a beautifully written and illustrated tale, reminds us that it's often the simple joys in life that are the most profound and rewarding, especially when shared with those we love. Join young Jane as she helps a wealthy, discontented king find true happiness in unexpected ways. Are you kidding me? Okay, I haven't even read the back of this yet, and that is so cute. I love that. And so Henry will, I think like, he's not quite ready to read this, but he's close. Um, so when he is, oh, and they always have these too. It's, they're just such good quality. Everything by the good and the beautiful is such good quality. Like this is hardcover. It has a little, um, thing so they can keep their, you know, place. I love that. They're so smooth and nice feeling. It just feels like a really good quality book and they're going to last through three kids. I can tell you that much. So I like that. Um, and then this is Jack and the Lost Maze, and I have a Jack, so that was nice. Um, and then a crown for Kate, and then Blake and, or Blake the Brave. So these are just really cute, sweet stories that I am just so excited. And like I said, this was on sale, so maybe check it out, see if it's still on sale on their website, but love that little set. And then I got him Best Pals, uh, Matt and Rusty. So this is also like really good quality. It's not hardcover, but it feels like really nice, smooth pages, really good quality. And then this is the same type of quality. Mark lives on Mars. That one looked cute. It's about like a kid. Mark and his family have left Earth and moved to Mars. Everything is new and exciting. Join Mark as he explores his home and learns all about the red planet. That's cool. I mean, that's interesting. So it's like actually books that he'll be able to read that are actually, that are on his level, but also interesting. I think that's great. And then I See Love. This one was cute. From the highest mountain range to the tiniest ant, the wonders of God's creation surround us. As you look up and down, you will see beauty and love all around. I love that. And I just love that these books can like open up. Um, I'll have him read these to me. And so it can open up. Oh, and it even has challenging words right here and so maybe we can kind of go over those words before he starts reading the book so he doesn't feel frustrated so I like that I mean they just think of everything in the good and the beautiful like I am not paid to say this or anything um but I just I truly like a lot of their stuff not everything I've had some issues with like some of their high school stuff or whatever like older kids stuff for Carter I think it was eighth grade level but the kids stuff I just love Dave and the frog I wonder if this has challenging words yep has challenging words here too just to start off with I love that and then this is the Luke and Lily set I was talking about so it's a box set so nice it just feels nice uh, Luke's adventure and Lily's pumpkins so I like how it's like a boy and a girl one that's cute love that so pretty I bet this has challenging words too yeah it does so it tells you the challenge words right at the beginning how cool, you guys. I love this. Okay, so these are 1B. So this might be like later on in first grade. It's just depending on how quickly we 
progress in reading. You know, every child is different with that. But I am so excited about these books and I can't wait to get everything organized. I'm going to do like a organizational video where I talk about, um, where I show you guys like my homeschool closet and how I've like really minimalized it, minimized it, minimalized it, <laughs> minimized it, pared things down, really got it very organized. I'm just, I'm so excited. It's like so hard to organize when you just have a ton of clutter, but when you only have the things that you need, it's so much easier to organize things. So I love that. Okay, so that is all the curriculum. So now I'm gonna just share like school supplies and organization type stuff. So um, these guys are awesome. Where is the ones that are filled? Oh, there they are. Okay, so I got this set from Walmart. I saw this at Walmart, not even online, it's in the store. And um, it was next to the home edit stuff. There's like the home edit line at Walmart and I think you know I've never seen the show but it's like an organization type show I think they have an Instagram I think that's how they started anyway they have some really good stuff for organization the home edit line I don't know if this is by them or if it was just kind of next to it but I feel like these mesh type bags it looks mesh but it's like plastic mesh um, so it's like really good quality and then it even has rings so if we decided to put it in a binder or something like that I could or I could hang it on something um, but I love that they're like bigger because I'm gonna show you guys some pencil bags and what I'm doing with those but I love that these are bigger and they're kind of like sturdy feeling and satisfying so I love these so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna put in all of them but I do have two of them that I'm starting to fill up so these are just some of our math manipulatives and they just fit so nicely. These like, my kids love these, especially Jack, he's my little builder. Um, but these get like lost, they get thrown around the house because he just likes to play with them all the time and I encourage that kind of play but then they get thrown around everywhere. So I like that we can just have like something like this that he could just carry around and pick them up and then zip it up and put it away in our homeschool closet. Um, I think that's going to help things be organized. And then when we do have certain manipulatives for different um, curriculum, like this is the Matthew C. Um, you know, blocks that they have you use. So I think I'm missing some of them. I need to look. See, this is the problem with being disorganized and having too much stuff. I need to look in our office upstairs. So I think we have more. But I like now that I have all the small ones in one container. So. I would definitely recommend checking out your Walmart. I'll try to link things below if I can um, to see if they have this. It was just a whole set of all of these. So, and I've also seen, I'm sure you guys have probably seen like people put board games in these types of bags. Though I kind of like to keep the board games boxes. So I don't know if I'm about that, but it is a cool idea. Okay. So next on like the organization kind of theme, my friend told me about these run to get these. <laughs> I love these. I'm using them so much in my homeschool closet for organizing our stuff this year. I'm so excited. So they're by Sterilite. I think that's how you call it. I got um, some of them from Pop Shelf. There's a store called Pop Shelf by our Target. I don't know if they're everywhere. I think it's owned by the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree or something, um, but it's like it's like a little bit more expensive obviously than a dollar store but has more affordable things and that was the cheapest that I found for these my friend told me about it um, but you can also buy them in like a set from Target and Amazon stuff like that and they'll go on sale so I ended up buying a set of like six of them yes so I have like ten of these or something but I have them all stacked up and what's great about them is they're like the length of like paper you know so you can fit like books and stuff so I've put like some of our science units that always get kind of lost and I forget which science units we even have I put them in these and then I like that they're clear because I don't even have to label it I can just look up top and see what's in there you know or on the side so I love these so much and they really fit well with, if you watched my kindergarten curric curriculum reviews video, I shared how I organized Henry's um, school stuff for kindergarten, which I'm still going to use that kind of system for first grade. Um, and this kind of, this kind of container just 
reminds me of that. And that vibe was kind of a minimalist vibe as well for his kindergarten curriculum. So if you want a more minimalist kindergarten curriculum and you want to know how to organize it, I would go see, watch that video. I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, so these are just kind of giving me that vibe and I love them and they stack really nicely. So they're, they're meant to be stacked. Um, so they stack super nice. I will show you guys in the video how the closet is looking with these in it, but I had to share it in this video. So I've got a ton of them and I'm obsessed. And then I went to Pop Shelf to get those and they didn't have any, like I went again to buy some, they didn't have any. So I got these, which is by the same brand. Um, they're just a different shape, you know, they're more like square and they actually fit in our homeschool cart. So we have a cart and that has three shelves, one's for, for my three boys that are doing school. My youngest, she's only one, so she's not doing school. Um, but you know, she has learning stuff, but just not the same. And my second youngest, he's just starting preschool. So this is his first year to really have like a shelf. But um, I have their containers that I use that I show in Henry's kindergarten curriculum video. But then um, there's a little extra spot on the shelf, on the, the little rolling cart, and this fits in there perfectly. So I'm not sure exactly what I wanna put in these. Right now I have the Matthew C the 100s blocks because manipulatives can just get really annoying and like you need them when you need them and you don't have to search for them so they these fit just barely in this so I might put these in there with some other math manipulatives I don't know I haven't totally decided yet I might put like our learning games in some of these so I'm not done organizing yet but I also liked this shape just because how it was like deeper and it would fit in like a tighter spot and these are also stackable too, so I could put two on the top of each other if I wanted. Okay, um, so another thing I got from Walmart that I just thought I would show you guys, because if your kids are into Mario, which they might be, because you know that Mario movie, okay, movie came out recently. My kids have seen that movie a hundred times. We purchased it, and it's been like one of the best purchases because they love that movie. And I know it's not like YouTube or something, you know. I know what they're watching is like, I've seen it too, so I know what they're watching. So I like that about my kids watching movies and stuff over and over again. But anyway, Jack found this, and I thought it was a really nice set at Walmart. It comes with a binder, um, which has the cute Mario theme, and then it comes with a folder, and then it also has one of those, you know, kind of science type uh, notebooks, and then a regular spiral bound notebook. So I thought this was really good value. I think it was like 15 bucks or maybe 14 or something. Can't remember exactly, but it comes with a ton of stuff and it's the Mario theme and that kind of thing just excites kids. If you wanna get your kids like excited about school um, or excited about school supplies and kind of teach them that this is fun and exciting, we're starting, starting a new school year, we get to get some new items, let's get some valuable things that also have like flair to it, you know? So. We go minimal with what supplies we get, but we get ones that have like fun stuff on it. So we got that. And speaking of that, I thought I would just show you guys Jack's backpack. I got this at Walmart. I thought this was a really good deal and actually very cute because I liked how in the front, so this is a lunchbox. It came with a lunchbox, a lanyard, and a pencil bag. Um, and then the lunchbox actually straps on the front, which I thought was really nice because then if he has stuff in his backpack, I don't have to put his lunchbox in his backpack, which is normally what I do, and then that takes up a ton of space. Um, so I like that it just fits on the front. Um, it's kind of a smaller lunchbox, so that works for us because my kids don't go to school, obviously, but they go to like an elective school um, that's just for like fun. It's kind of like a preschool elective type thing um, once a week for like three hours, and they bring like a snack or lunch or whatever, and they bring their backpack to bring home all of their stuff they make, and whatever so um but i liked how it has like a really cute like all the superheroes which jack wanted on the front but then on the back it's got that kind of vintage vibe um most of the backpacks i saw on amazon they would have this whole the whole backpack was the vintage vibe or it was just like the fun part in the front with all the characters so i like that this had both and um, it's a really good size, but he's only four, but he's able to do this. I think if he was three, this backpack would be too big, but this is kind of like his big boy backpack for the new school year. So only a couple more things. 
Um, I just thought I would mention, you guys know what pencil bags are, but they have them for like 97 cents at Walmart. I got two blue and one pink so that if I end up using these as regular pencil bags, then it can be like my two little guys and my little girl. Um, and then, but what I decided to do is for like the minimal homeschool supplies, I know we needed dry erase markers. I got the like off brand. We'll see. Probably go back to the good stuff, but we'll see. I'm trying to, you know, stay on budget here. So I put some dry erase markers in here. It's like I said, my kids love learning through using like a little whiteboard. Um, we have a bigger whiteboard, but then we also have little individual ones. And then I got like a set of glue sticks from Walmart. And so I put that in here because with young kids, you can always use glue sticks for their crafts and stuff. And then I got the Ticaronda, is that how you say it? Pencils? Ticonderoga. I don't know. Pencils. Um, I got one of those sets. They're already pretty sharpened and they come with a little individual sharpener. So put that in there and I actually have a shoe organizer on the door of our shoe closet or our school closet and we put our shoes in there because um, we don't really have a spot to put our shoes when we're just coming in and out of the house so the kids have their the little ones have their shoes in there but then on the top areas that they can't reach I thought it would be or I actually saw this somewhere but get like some little pencil bags and then just put them in there and so then I can just easily get these just minimal school supplies that we would need so oh one last thing I almost forgot that I also got was a bunch of sheet protectors so I got this from Walmart it is 100 sheet protectors and I got the gather round um, one of their curriculum actually their chemistry curriculum and um, I got the digital version, which I thought would be more, um, would be smart to be, for being more minimal, because we would have less books and stuff, because my, so this is a curriculum that you can use for all ages. So my oldest, he's gonna be in high school, he has essential tremors, like his hands shake. And so I thought it would be great if we got the digital version, and then he can just type on his laptop in you know to fill in whatever instead of having to write all of that because a lot of the there's a lot of writing and things going on in this curriculum and I thought oh you can just have the digital version so it doesn't just has his laptop which he already has it doesn't add more to cluttering up our space and then it also works with his trimmers as well but I did print um Henry's because he's younger and um so far I don't think he has the trimmers and um, I just thought this would be good and I actually put the a lot of it in page protectors and I think I'm going to start doing this a lot with my kids um, because then we can reuse it. They can just use a dry erase marker and we can wipe it off and reuse it if I would like to do that so I don't have to reprint it. Or if I do decide, no, I want him to just write on it and I'll just reprint it some other time, we can just pull it out. But I just thought this kept it really organized. I love the way it feels. Um, and I just had this binder laying around already, so I didn't have to purchase a new binder, although it is kind of falling apart a little bit, but <laughs> I think it works. So, um, very excited about that as well. It's a paid protectors or something that you can use in all kinds of areas of your homeschool and it can be more minimal with because you can use a dry erase marker and reuse it for multiple kids or reuse it for the same kid and so on. So that is it for my minimal homeschool haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you that you don't need a ton of school supplies, a ton of curriculum and ton of manipulatives to homeschool your child. Um, I have been listening to this book, or I listened to the book, um, The More of Less by Joshua Becker, and I think what he says is so true. Um, basically, he says you can have more with less, because if you have less stuff to manage, less things that are taking up your time and your mental space, then you have more time for the things that really matter and are more life-giving, and you can be more purposeful and intentional with your life in that way. So. I am so excited for this journey of just being more minimal and everything and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that you will come along with me on this journey. I'm so excited for a new homeschool year. I'm getting pumped. I'm trying to get my kids pumped and they're kind of still in summer mode, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.